Building a new bridge weighing 1,300 tons in just four hours may seem like an impossible task. However, in the bustling city center of China's capital, 2,000 construction workers successfully demolished an old bridge and replaced it with a new one in just four hours. China's construction speed has shocked the world. So, how did China accomplish this task in such a short amount of time? Sanyuanqiao is one of the most important transportation hubs in Beijing, China. It has always played a vital role in transporting passengers and goods for the city. However, with the rapid development of the economy and society, the number of cars has increased dramatically, and the daily traffic flow on Sanyuanqiao has reached an astonishing 206,000 vehicles, with a daily passenger flow of up to 727,000 people. This has put tremendous pressure on Sanyuanqiao. In order to ensure smooth traffic, the road department has expanded the lane planning of Sanyuan Bridge. But since 2003, the bridge has been in a state of overload. By 2014, the Bridge Condition Survey Department issued a warning that the main girder and deck of the Sanyuan Bridge had been severely damaged, and its stiffness had dropped by 27%. Maintenance alone can no longer support its traffic flow, and if it is used forcibly, the bridge may collapse by itself in the near future, which is a major safety hazard. In order to improve the efficiency of transportation and ensure the travel safety of the people, Sanyuan Bridge must be upgraded to better meet the growing traffic demand. However, Sanyuan Bridge, as the east gate connecting the capital airport and the urban area, has complex traffic organization and heavy traffic. Moreover, the length of the Sanyuan Bridge is about 28 meters, the width is 12 meters, the height is 3 meters, and the weight is 1,300 tons. Under normal circumstances, according to conventional construction, a project of such a scale would take at least two months. During this period, blocking roads will not only affect the travel of citizens, but also cause economic losses of up to 120 million US dollars. For this heavyweight project in the world, China was helpless for a while. In order to implement the project as soon as possible, the Chinese government convened many well-known experts to conduct multiple studies and demonstrations, and finally the construction team decided to adopt the overall bridge replacement method. In this method, after the new beams are prefabricated in the beam yard, they are directly transported to the site for assembly, thereby improving the construction efficiency. However, this method also brings a difficult problem, that is, how to ensure that the instantaneous accuracy of the new bridge falling is within 20 mm, so that it can be merged with the original pier smoothly. In order to complete this project as soon as possible, China spared no effort to spend huge sums of money to ask world-renowned construction experts to provide assistance. In the end, the construction team adopted high-precision positioning technology and an intelligent control system to ensure the accurate installation of the new bridge. The core of this technology is the 1,000-ton pack-and-carry integrated machine, the pack beam cart. The beam trolley adopts the advanced GPS and BEDA dual positioning system, as well as the onboard photoelectric navigation and laser tracking technology, which realizes precise positioning and ensures that the drop accuracy of the new beam does not exceed 20 mm. In addition to adopting high-precision technology, the construction team also decided to adjust the slope of the road under the original bridge. For example, the slope is lowered to reduce the error of the hydraulic suspension system, thus escorting the entire project. When everything was ready, the project began to dismantle the old beams in the early morning of November 14, 2015, and the new beams were put into use on the 15th of the next day. Under the highly coordinated and precise operation of 2,000 workers, the bridge moved 60 meters at a speed of 1 meter per minute. It took only 70 minutes for the new beam to be in place successfully. Then, 2,000 workers began to carry out concrete and other processes. In the end, it took Sanyuan Bridge 43 hours to complete the new girders for old girders. 
The pace of the project has left many locals on their way to work without realizing the bridge has been replaced. It is reported that the project not only created a new technology example of large tonnage overall beam replacement, but also created a new speed of bridge construction in Beijing. Netizens from many countries started complaining about the inefficiency of their own country after seeing the speed of China's bridge construction. However, we should also think about what made China accomplish this miracle. Everyone is welcome to leave a comment.